The Scott Cox Show. It's Scott Cox. Mornings on Current Radio, News Talk 1180. And CurrentRadio.com. Look, I'm a parent, and I really do think we've got these built-in mechanisms that human beings have to protect the young, and you would think the defenseless in general, right? There's people you just look out for, fine. Uh, and it's built right into us. And we talked about this yesterday with this cat, this guy uh, in Phoenix put his infant in the microwave. Why? Or not, he put him in the freezer. Sorry. Why did he do that? Because he was high on meth. And I said that yesterday. I said, well, how? What? What is the appeal of, of methamphetamine? Uh, why? I mean, why, why would you take something that would get your brain that far off the bubble? And another uh, thing that is apparently just evil and has been around for a long time is that uh, uh, dang old PCP. And we all heard about this story with Angelo Mendoza because how do you not? This is the guy who, I'm just going to say it, bit out his own child's eyeballs. Now, that again, I've, we've talked about this before. That is something so heinous and so gruesome that I couldn't have made that up if you gave me all day. You could have said, hey, I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, name whatever's the... Uh, they talk about a kid that got, a guy that got high on meth and put his kid in the freezer. Can you think of anything worse than that? And I probably could not. Um, well, this guy found a way. He bit out both of the eyes of Angelo Mendoza Jr., blinding him. He then rolled his wheelchair to the backyard of a vacant home and cut off his own... or try, cut his own legs with an axe and a ceramic plate. He told police he'd been attacked by the Mexican Mafia, but a neighbor watched him do it, which is, boy, that's a good neighbor. Uh, if you've got a neighbor that will sit there and watch you tie yourself to a tree and hack your own limbs with, a, with an axe and not call 911 or stop you, that's a don't ask, don't tell situation. Well, uh, here's the thing, and I told you this was going to happen. This is one of those good news, bad news, good news, bad news, good news things. Uh, Mr. Mendoza has been found not guilty. Now, you should have seen this coming because most people, when you hear about somebody doing something this far off the beam, uh, you just think death penalty instantly, right? Because I do. Um, so that I would have leaned toward that to start with. But I said at the time, this guy's going to be found not guilty, and he should have been, by the way. Now, that's where we go back to bad news. There is the insanity defense, that you can plead insanity when, people, when you lose your mind and do something that you can't be held accountable for. Now... Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment and whether or not that should actually be something that comes into play in a courtroom. But if you're going to make the play, if your lawyer is going to go to the judge and a jury and convince them that you're crazy, I think biting out a kid's eyeballs, will that will clear the bar. Uh, that is, if there is a standard set anywhere in the law for what is and is not crazy behavior, uh, between the eyeball incident and then trying to cut off your own legs with an axe, yeah. Yeah. 